So you want to learn how to play chess? Well, with this extensive guide, you'll be playing in no time. First thing you're going to want to know is how to set up the board. There's two teams, black and beige. Beige? Pretend these are white. So black and white each take a side of the board. Pawns go in front. They are the cannon fodder in this war we call chess. Then in order of height, the castles take the corners, then the knight, then the bishop. In the center is the king and queen. A good tip to remember which way they go round is the queen always matches her tile and the king is mismatched because he has no style at all. Now the board is set and it's time to figure out how the pieces work. Firstly, white always goes first. Surely a rule that wasn't racially motivated or anything when they came up with it, probably. Pawns. They move one space forward at a time except on their first turn when they can move two spaces. Pawns can only attack to the 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock positions, as they are unable to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the insurmountable obstacles laid before them. Finally, if a pawn is lucky enough to make it to the other side of the board, they can come anything they want. Castles, or some people call them rooks. There's some fancy reason why they're called rooks, but we're all intellectuals here, so we'll be sticking with castles. Castles can move as much as they want in any of the compass directions. Well, the, the important directions. Knights, a rather unique piece that happen to move in the shape of an L. An easy way to remember this is to merely look at the piece, see that it's a horse, and remember how horses took an L to cars. Bishops, they can move as much as they want in an X pattern. They're like reverse castles, but they have a fancy hat. Queens, as the name implies, slay. They can move as much as they want in any direction they want. Kings are like real kings. Everything goes bad when they die, and they can barely do anything at all. Which is to say, once you lose your king, the game is over, and they can only move one space in any direction. The final rule you need to know about chess is called castling. It's where you switch the king and the castle around, and, um, uh, you, you know, don't worry about this rule, you don't really need it. Now you know everything you need to know to start playing chess. Go out there and win some games. <laughs>